Welcome to The Growth Desk, where we break down how AI is reshaping the future of wealth management. One firm, one workflow, one big idea at a time. Today, I have the pleasure of being joined by Eric Jane, co-founder and CEO of Zeppelin, a company redefining what it means to run an AI-first advisory practice. While AI may still feel abstract to some, Zeppelin is hyper-focused on making it practical by solving for inefficiencies that drag down productivity and clarity in advisory firms. From big misconceptions to big opportunities, we'll explore how Zeppelin is helping firms work smarter, not harder, and what the future looks like when AI isn't just a tool, but a core part of how your business gets done. Era, thanks so much for joining me. Let's get right into it. Thanks for having me, Shannon. There are a lot of attitudes, opinions, and perspectives when it comes to AI today. What are the biggest misconceptions firms have about AI and practice management? So the biggest misconception firms have about AI and practice management stems from the fear of losing control, privacy, and the human touch. Wealth management firms are often worried about data privacy, that their sensitive client information will be exposed if they start using AI. They also fear that they will lose the human touch in their client interactions. And perhaps the biggest misconception is that AI would soon be a replacement for financial advisors. Um, but what's missing is really the, the real story of what AI is designed to do. AI is not a replacement, it's an enabler. It's a technology that solves for the capacity crisis. The true problem for wealth management firms today is, is not a lack of expertise. Rather, it's the immense amount of time that's being wasted on repetitive admin tasks, which are essential to service clients, but it takes away time from actual relationship building. So I'm talking about the painful hours that are spent on manually taking taking notes in meetings, data gathering, the endless chase for financial statements, drafting follow-up emails, prep preparing for meetings, or sifting through mountains of data just to find that single crucial piece of information about a client. And this is where AI excels. Um, at Google, I built AI systems that powered products like Google Search and human speech recognition. And having been on the front lines of building AI systems that could understand unstructured data, extract meaning, and act on it at scale, I saw firsthand the incredible potential that AI holds, and also the very real limitations that we have to be honest about. And so I would say that think of AI as a digital assistant that's built to handle these repetitive time-consuming tasks, and it can perform those at scale with speed and accuracy. And by automating the grunt work, AI frees up advisors to focus on what their clients truly value, which is building relationships, providing guidance, and delivering high-touch service. And in my opinion, that allows the advisors to be more human, not less. And yes, data security is a legitimate concern, especially with large language models, but it can be addressed if wealth management firms take a proactive approach of setting a strong governance framework and guardrails on how to use AI safely. As an example, pasting sensitive client data into a public interface such as ChatGPT can lead to data leakage. Um, alternatively, firms can work with compliant industry-specific AI solutions such as Zeppelin, which are built to handle sensitive data with highest state standards of privacy and security and are not going to use that data to train any kind of AI models. And this helps eliminate that concern that firms have around data privacy and security to a large extent. Well, I think you've done a great job of quelling those fears. <laughs> so we've talked misconceptions, but when you actually look at the day-to-day -day realities of advisors, what are the biggest inefficiencies and how do you see AI reshaping those workflows in the next few years? When we look at the day-to-day -day realities of advisory firms, there are three major challenges that we come across that are the biggest impediments to driving efficiency and scale in our industry today. Number one, incomplete or stale data. While 60% of data gathering happens during client conversations, less than 25% of the information from those conversations is comprehensively, comprehensively documented. And as a result, valuable client information is lost and underutilized. Second, even when the data is gathered, it lives fragmented in a dozen different places, creating data silos and inconsistencies. 
We have client data living in CRMs and planning tools and document management systems and portfolio management systems. Without a single source of truth, advisors have to manually search for or re-enter information over and over again, leading to errors and massive time drain. And then lastly, there is an over-reliance on manual workflows in our industry. And these manual workflows, they take up more than 40% of an advisor's time. And that's being spent on non-client facing activities today, such as meeting preparation, data entry, and compliance report. At Zeppelin, we are addressing these core challenges by using agentic AI to streamline the manual client meeting process for advisors, all the way from helping them do pre-meeting prep to documentation during meetings, to follow-up work such as drafting personalized emails for their clients, creating tasks post-meeting, or updating data in CRMs and financial plans. Advisors using Zeppelin are leveraging AI to not only take notes, but to also efficiently analyze their past conversations and identify relevant insights, such as change in clients' investment goals or significant life events or potential growth opportunities. This enables advisors to have much more strategic and personalized conversations with their clients while standardizing the documentation and execution of workflows firm-wide. Uh, advisors today are saving more than 12 hours a week on admin work just by using the meeting assistant with Zeppelin. And that gives them back the time dividend that they can reallocate to client-facing activities. Over the next couple of years, with more accurate data in the systems and increasing visibility into that data, advisors will be able to proactively identify gaps in their processes and opportunities to strategically scale their practice. Well, I'm so glad you mentioned data because it is certainly the four letter word in our industry right now, because if you don't have your data in place, you can't even consider utilizing AI properly. So thank you for going under the hood a little bit there. So let's take out the crystal ball and maybe fast forward five years. What does AI first practice management look like and what will separate the leading firms from the laggards? If we fast forward five years, AI will be a foundational layer of every practice. It's gonna be ingrained in every business process. And the wealth management firms that will embrace this paradigm shift are gonna emerge as leaders. The next evolution of practice management is not going to be unlocked by building better dashboards or slightly faster data entry. However, it would be achieved by making the shift from analytics to action. So over the last couple of years, we saw the first wave of AI adoption, and this was focused on leveraging AI to automate data collection, making it searchable um, to assist advisors with decision making. And AI was used and is being used in a very reactive way. However, the second wave of AI adoption will be about turning those insights into action through agentic AI. And what will separate leading firms from laggards is the embrace of agentic AI. So when I talk about agentic AI, I'm talking about intelligent AI assistants that can proactively execute workflows end-to-end, -end, interpreting data and executing tasks with minimal human oversight. So let me give you an example. Today, you're using AI to summarize meet meeting notes. A proactive AI agent would not just summarize meeting notes, but it would also continuously monitor them for changes in client's goals and objectives, couple them by analyzing macro shifts in the market, portfolio impact, and will automatically schedule client check-ins for the advisor when the time is right. Another example, AI would not just detect client's interest in a new account based on a conversation, but it would also create a new task, a new service request, fill out the required form that's needed to initiate an account opening process automatically, ready to be reviewed by the advisor. So this is going to be a very proactive, goal-driven approach, and that would become the new standard over the next five years. Leading wealth management firms will have this intelligent, agentic layer that will sit on top of their entire data stack, entire tech stack, ingesting data from every interaction in every system. And this single source of truth is going to power these AI agents for them and help them deliver truly intelligent workflow automation. At Zeppelin, we are building this future. Our mission is to put the power of agentic AI into the hands of advisors, enabling them to move from a reactive, admin-heavy practice to a proactive, human-centric one. 
I love it because it ultimately allows advisors to do what they do best and that's serve their clients. That's actually a wrap on this episode of The Growth Desk. A huge thank you to Era Jane for sharing how Zeppelin is helping firms go beyond the AI buzzwords and actually rethink the way practice management happens. So if your firm is still thinking about AI as a mm, nice to have, it might be time to rethink what's possible because the future is coming fast and the most successful firms will be the ones building for it today. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time on The Growth Desk where innovation meets impact.